lovelies welcome back to my channel thanks so much for stopping by today I wanted to come to you with a video that I feel like everybody should really know and I know that so many people have been in this position where they found some really stinking cute pants but they just don't like the fit at the bottom they fit you really well at the top which is hard to come by especially with all the different sized bodies out there when you find a pair of pants that fit really well at your waist but you don't like the the flare at the end or if it's too if it's too flared out or if it's straight but you want it skinnier you know just whatever the case may be I think that this is such a good tutorial for you because you can now learn how to make any pair of pants into the size that you would like at the cut. I can't tell you how many good quality jeans I've had, but I didn't like the cut at the bottom. And with this method, I've been able to wear and use so many pairs of pants, especially when I needed specific work pants or uniform things that needed a specific color or type but I couldn't find anything that fit me perfectly this was such an easy way for me to fit it towards my body and feel comfortable in it so that I can go and do whatever it is that I need to do whether it's work school or just hanging out with my friends so go ahead and continue watching and I'll see you at the end I bought these really adorable jeans from the Levi Outlets recently and I really wanted to turn them into some flattering skinny jeans. So I start off by turning everything inside out and putting those bad boys right back on so that I can go ahead and start pinning. Now this is only one method that you can choose to use. This is one of the methods that I use unfortunately when you try and take the jeans off. It can get a little tricky because the pins will stick you and it's not the most comfortable feeling in the world. However, there is another method that I prefer to use because no pins are needed while the pants are on you, so therefore you won't hurt yourself when you take them off. I'm just going to get a close-up so that you can really see what I'm doing here. All it is is just me pulling the inner seam of the jeans really tight so that I can know where I'm going to sew and what part of the fabric I'm going to remove. Okay, now here is the second method that I was telling you about. I'm taking a piece of fabric chalk and I think any chalk would really work, but this one is designed at a nice little point so that you can use it along any fabric that you want. You can also use a pen or permanent marker or something, but I just like chalk because it comes off in the wash. But anyways, I'm pulling my pants from the inner seam outwards, just like before when I was pinning it, except this time I'm just creating a little guideline with the chalk that I can later use to pin down my pants. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it is laid completely flat at the seam that we were pulling out, and I'm just gonna pin all along that guideline that we used with the chalk. When I get to the very end of my pants, it's really important that you make sure that the hem at the bottom is completely lined up front and back so that you don't have an awkward lopsided hem at the bottom of your skinny jeans. Although usually at the bottom of your jeans, they do kind of crinkle a little bit, so you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but you know, just in case, you wanna make sure everything is lined up really nice and neat. Then of course, you wanna make sure you do it to the other side as well, and then you can go ahead and bring it to your sewing machine. I used a tension of two because jeans get a lot of wear and tear, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. Just like with any project, you want to make sure that you're backstitching at the very beginning and very end. It's extremely important that you make sure you backstitch at the hem of your jeans because they get a lot of wear and tear between the pulling and tugging of you putting on your shoes and just you sliding your feet through. You know, any, any wear and tear, really, and that's kind of where a lot of your work can come undone if you don't secure it well enough. So as you can see here, I'm just following the guideline that I made with the chalk and the pins, and I am just sewing along and working my way up into the knee area. I make sure that I go completely into the side seam and I backstitch when I get there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create 
another top stitch right next to the first one that we made to just really add some security for our pants. Go ahead and try them on to make sure that they fit well and you don't need to make any adjustments. And if you do, just make them as needed. And then go ahead and take them off and lay them back down. So now you should see where your new seam is and you can go ahead and cut off any extra fabric that may get bunched up or get in the way or make the bottom of your jeans look a little bit too bulky if you try them on. And just cut that off. I left a good quarter of an inch seam allowance just so that um, you know there wouldn't be any chance of it coming undone in case that's one of your worries. You can also use pinking shears if you want to prevent fraying. And then go ahead, turn your new skinny jeans right side out, try them on, take some selfies, feel fabulous, and enjoy your new pair of well-fitting skinny jeans. All right, there you go. Wasn't that kind of easy? I hope that you have a lot more confidence going into the next pair of pants that you wear. Do me a favor, if you or somebody that you know struggles with finding the perfect pair of pants, share this on your social media platform and hashtag Amanda Luisa so that I can see it. Give me a thumbs up if you wanna see more clothing alterations. And as always, YouTube, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I saw stars on the pavement California dreams Looked up through the bright light